So in teaching philosophy, and this is, that's more program, this is, we're starting to get into some, some of the football talk a little bit, but I always talk about the four C's of communication, clear, concise, consistent, and compelling. When, when you give information to kids, you know, I, I used to always laugh, you know, we'll go in there, I remember one time we were, this is one of my, la we were getting ready to play a Big 12 opponent, and we had a big, big old scouting report, and I'm like, where's this scouting report going? I know it's not going to the kids. <laughs> These kids, they, you're right, they're going to read five minutes of it, right? So that's the clarity part. How can, I, how can I be clear and concise with what I want to communicate? How can I streamline information? Because we all know the guys that we deal with, uh, the, 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 the attention span is not that big. I'm always, always be careful and aware in the meeting room and on the practice field what you communicate, is it clear, is it concise, is it to the point? We, we all know a lot more football than any kid can ever learn. I mean, we spend all our time doing it over and over and over and over again. Our kids have such a small window to actually learn something. So the, the, the message you give them it needs to be clear. It needs to be concise. It needs to be to the point. It's got to be consistent. It can't be seven yards today, nine yards tomorrow, 12 yards today. Now, everything is flexible, you know, depending on opponents and abilities and all, but there's got to be some consistency with how I communicate what I communicate. That's the easiest way to confuse kids, give them inconsistent messages. And then it's got to be compelling. Make, make the information fun as much as you can. You know, we'll walk in there and there may, may be a quiz sitting on the desk. There may be, just make the information compelling. Make them want to learn the information uh, and just think of creative ways to try to present. I think a lot of kids are visual. Uh, they like to see things. Um, I, I try to stay away. We try to stay away from written paragraphs of information. They just, they're not going to get it. They're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to, they're not going to consume it. Uh, but when we're teaching stuff, I don't care if it's football, if it's life, clear, concise, consistent, compelling, four C's of communication. And then when we get into football concepts, there's three things I'm always aware of. Scheme, technique, philosophy. Scheme, technique, philosophy. Scheme, technique, philosophy. Scheme. And what we call it. I call it our triad teaching method. There's three things. Usually we teach in threes, kids learn in threes. Um, but scheme, scheme is just what to do, right? Your scheme is what to do. So uh, when we say brown, uh, we're telling you, you got this guy man to man. I have told you what to do, okay? The technique is actually how to do something. If I just told you what to do and I never told you how to play man, I haven't told you anything. You know, we can take a guy, I can go down to the uh, uh, Walmart across the street there, and I can get a guy out of the grocery aisle, and I can teach him a scheme. Anybody can learn. Anything can be taught and learned. I can tell anybody what to do. The technique is how to get something done. If we go through the progressions of man, and, and our eye transition, our feet, our alignment, our stance, our pedal, our transit, all those things are the technique of how to do something. That's where the coaching is. And then the, the, the last part, the completioning of the learning to me is the philosophy. Do, 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 do our kids, do my kids, do our kids understand why we're doing it? Do we understand why we're doing it? Why are we calling man? Why are we running quarters? Why are we running it this way? The why is so important. What to do, how to do it, and then why? And I think if a kid can line up, and I know in this scheme I got this guy man to man, and I know the progressions of how to play man to man, and I know coach is calling man because it's third and five and he wants a tighter fit on the receiver, I think we, can, we, we got something that maybe we can work with and win with right there. But if, if you ask your kid those three questions and they can't clearly go back with clarity, tell you what, what's my responsibility, how do I want need to do it, and why? Why is the coach calling it in this situation? And if we don't know why, then we, just, we, need to, we need to go backwards a little bit and get some clarity in our own teaching and why are we running quarters? Why are we running? What, why? It's a great question. You know, so we always talk about the triad teaching, teaching method and, and, and making sure our kids are clear on those three things. Anytime I present any piece of information, you know, what do I want you to do? How do I want you to do it? Why are you doing it this way? Why not this way? And, and, and the why question is going to always pull out probably, I've learned probably a lot more football, a lot of football just asking myself, well, why? Right? Just sitting there, just why, why, why not do it this way?